Lucifer represents a spiritual stream that bestows upon the human being the impulse for freedom, for the development of individuality and self-consciousness. Luciferian knowledge, as Rudolf Steiner presents it, often sparks controversy and misunderstanding. Yet, beneath the surface lies a philosophy not of darkness, but of light, a pursuit of intellectual brilliance and spiritual depth. It's not about worshipping the devil or calling on the dead, but instead emphasizes personal freedom and the development of individual consciousness. It sees Lucifer as a symbolic figure representing enlightenment and the quest for truth. It invites us on a journey of intellectual awakening and profound personal transformation. Here's how. Steiner was an Austrian philosopher, social reformer, architect and esotericist. He founded the movement known as Anthroposophy, a part of spiritual development that aimed to connect the material and spiritual worlds. He was the first to present a view of Luciferian knowledge that diverges significantly from traditional Christian interpretations. Steiner didn't conflate Lucifer with Satan, the devil in Christian tradition. Rather, he views them as two distinctly separate beings. While Satan is a malevolent entity who exists to cause harm, Lucifer is not inherently evil. Steiner's Lucifer stands as a metaphor for certain human impulses and qualities, such as the pursuit of knowledge and the dangers of intellectual arrogance. Steiner introduced the idea of two contrasting spiritual forces that influence humanity. On one side, we have Luciferian force, associated with light, intellect and spiritual elevation. These forces are about creativity, independence and the pursuit of inner light. On the other side, there are Ahrimanic forces tied to materialism and darkness. Ahriman represents the forces that drag human consciousness down into a purely physical, earthly existence, devoid of spiritual awareness. The real challenge, as Steiner saw it, was in balancing these two influences. In his anthroposophical teachings, he proposed that true spiritual development and a harmonious society could only be achieved by understanding and balancing the contrasting forces. An overemphasis on Luciferian knowledge could result in spiritual arrogance and a detachment from the practical realities of the world. In the same way, a dominance of Ahrimanic influence leads to materialism and a dulling of spiritual consciousness. This is where Christ, as described by Steiner, comes in. Christ is seen as a unifying force, harmonizing the polar opposites represented by Lucifer and Ahriman. Steiner viewed the incarnation of Christ in the human being Jesus of Nazareth as a unique, transformative event in the spiritual history of the world. He called the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ the mystery of Golgotha, viewing it as a pivotal moment in human and cosmic history. It symbolizes the union of the divine with the earthly and the potential for human beings to transcend material existence through a balanced spiritual development. He suggested that education, art, and spiritual practices were key in harmonizing these influences, offering a path to a balanced and fulfilling spiritual life. Steiner viewed the Luciferian forces as essential in the evolution of humanity, nudging individuals towards spiritual independence and freedom. But he was also aware of the potential dangers of these forces when left unchecked. So how does one go about incorporating Luciferian knowledge into one's worldview? and more practically into one's life. Luciferian knowledge is about a profound love for learning and a relentless quest for understanding. This pursuit manifests in various ways. It involves reading extensively across a broad spectrum of subjects, engaging in stimulating and challenging discussions, and pursuing studies that enlighten and expand our horizons. It emphasizes the importance of personal freedom, individualism, and questioning established norms and beliefs. This is not about rebelling without cause or rejecting tradition for the sake of it. Rather, it's about critically evaluating the ideas and practices we inherit and encounter, assessing their value and relevance in our lives and in the broader context of society. This form of knowledge also encourages critical thinking and self-reliance. It asks us to not just accept information at face value, but to analyze, critique, and synthesize new understandings from our learning. In an age where information is abundant and often conflicting, the ability to think critically is not just valuable, it's essential. Moreover, this path calls for deep introspection and development of higher levels of consciousness. 
It's about understanding oneself at a fundamental level, recognizing our own biases, our strengths and weaknesses, and our potential for growth. This self-awareness is crucial in navigating the complexities of life and in making decisions that are aligned with our true selves. However, incorporating Luciferian knowledge also means balancing our intellectual pursuits with emotional and spiritual growth. It's about developing empathy, compassion, and a deeper understanding of the human experience. The pursuit of knowledge must be tempered with a sense of responsibility and ethical consideration. Our intellectual and spiritual pursuits should not overshadow the importance of empathy and ethical conduct. At its core, Luciferian knowledge is about open-mindedness and tolerance, qualities that form the bedrock of this philosophy. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and check out our other videos. Also, we'd like to ask you a favor. Our data shows that only 90% of you are subscribed to our channel. If you found this video to be of value, please subscribe. It helps our channel more than you know. And in return, we promise to keep making high quality content. Thanks for watching.